In the realm of wildlife confrontations, the battle between a skunk and a raccoon is one that intrigues many nature enthusiasts. Both creatures, common across North America, possess unique traits that could influence the outcome of such a skirmish. While it's an unusual scenario to imagine these two animals in combat, understanding their strengths and strategies offers insight into how a fight might unfold. Skunks are renowned for their defensive prowess rather than offensive capabilities. Typically weighing between 4 to 10 pounds, skunks are relatively small and have a slender build. Their most formidable weapon is their spray, a potent, foul-smelling liquid that can be emitted with remarkable precision. This spray contains chemicals that can irritate the eyes, skin, and respiratory system of any creature unfortunate enough to encounter it. In a confrontation, a skunk's primary strategy would involve utilizing its spray to ward off an opponent. The skunk's ability to accurately target its spray, combined with its strong odor, can effectively incapacitate larger animals, at least temporarily. The spray can cause severe discomfort and disorientation, giving the skunk a crucial advantage in defensive situations. Skunks will often give a series of warnings before they resort to spraying, including hissing and puffing up their fur to appear larger and more threatening. In contrast, the raccoon is built for a more aggressive style of conflict. Weighing between 8 to 20 pounds, raccoons are significantly larger and stronger than skunks. Their physical prowess is complemented by sharp claws and strong jaws, making them formidable opponents in a physical altercation. Raccoons are also incredibly agile and possess dexterous front paws, which they use effectively for grabbing and manipulating objects, including potential adversaries. Raccoons are known for their tenacity and aggressive nature when provoked. They have a history of engaging in fights with other animals, including their own kind. Their combat skills are well developed, and they use their claws and teeth to their advantage. Raccoons are also adept at using their environment, often climbing trees or using their surroundings to escape or gain an upper hand in a confrontation. If a skunk and a raccoon were to encounter each other in the wild, the outcome would largely depend on the initial actions of the skunk. The skunk's primary line of defense would be its spray. If the skunk manages to spray the raccoon before the fight escalates, the raccoon could be incapacitated or at least significantly impaired. The raccoon's natural curiosity and aggressive tendencies might lead it to get too close, increasing the likelihood of a successful spray. However, if the skunk's spray fails to deter the raccoon or if the raccoon manages to close the distance before being sprayed, the dynamics of the fight would shift dramatically. In a physical confrontation, the raccoon's superior size, strength, and combat skills would give it a distinct advantage. The skunk's smaller size and lack of physical weaponry make it less equipped for a direct fight against a raccoon's powerful claws and teeth. In summary, the outcome of a skunk versus raccoon fight hinges on the skunk's ability to effectively use its spray. If the skunk can deploy its defensive weapon with precision and create enough discomfort for the raccoon, it stands a good chance of avoiding a physical confrontation. However, if the fight turns physical, the raccoon's strength and aggression would likely prevail. Both animals possess unique adaptations suited to their survival strategies, with the skunk relying on defense and deterrence, and the raccoon on offense and resilience. While such encounters are rare in nature, understanding their potential outcomes provides a fascinating glimpse into the survival tactics of these intriguing creatures.